not talking about trust. Is that it? if, for example, when I talk about trust, and I give an example, because I like giving an example, if somebody comes and say, "I will fight corruption," let's go and see where has that person worked or been able to manage resources that will show that we can trust him with the resources of the nation. And I'll give you an example. When you talk about corruption perception index, it's measured strictly on management of public <coughs> assets. That include if we are if we look at government chairman, how did you manage the public well? How did you do appointments? If you're a governor, same thing. How did you manage the location of land? How did you manage, how did you do appointments? Because nepotism is a major part of corruption. How did you manage public wealth and everything? I've been governor in Anambra State. Go there, you will not see nobody from my community, my town, was appointed a commissioner. None of my town people became chief of staff, like it is with most people. Nobody. You go and see the appointment, it was done the way it should be. Go and look for any piece of land directly or indirectly allocated to me, my wife, or my family. You will not see one. Well. And <coughs> of course, like I always say, the day I left office, nobody was asked. I said I was not owing one, any supplier who had delivered what we had had. Any contract that we have executed as a certificate rates, I wasn't owing pension, gratuity, or salary to the civil servant. And I left in covers of Anambra State for the benefit of the state in three banks. First, Access Bank, $50 million and about $10 billion. Diamond Bank, $50 million and about $10 billion. Fidelity Bank, $50 million and about $10 billion. And to date, an Umbra State, when I was living, the house came to me and said, we're going to do a law for the pension of the governor, your severance allowance, everything to date, go and check. An Umbra has not built me a bottle of water. The trust I want them is to look at, they not look at what, where they are today. And I'm saying, if you look at where you are today, you see that it's not issue of a northerner being in charge. The north is no more secure than the south. The north has more poverty than the south and everything. And I'm saying I have solution to it. I'll deal with it. If there's one person who will say the north hold me responsible today, it is Peter will be. I'm going to turn around the thoughts. I said, where will I start? Agriculture. By Nigeria feeding itself, I will double the GDP component of agriculture. It's 21% today, 41 trillion. Out of our 180 GDP trillion, the, North, the agriculture is about 41 trillion. And we're not feeding ourselves completely. If we do, do feed ourselves today completely, that can be doubled. If we do export, they not won't be talking about sharing money from oil. They are living in something better than oil. You need somebody to unlock it. And I have what it takes to unlock it. And I will unlock it. Because I keep saying I will invest in the youth. They are the future. They have the talent, they have the energy. What they need is an articulated, physical, monetary support, the right direction. And they will get it. Because I'm going to have a percentage of lending 
that will go directly to them. I'm going to have the physical support that will go to them. And above all, I'm going to give them what they can call the moral support by making sure that we supervise them, encourage them, celebrate them. And that's what it is. The UC have been neglected. Nobody has seen them as that. There's so many things you can do. Look at Nigeria sitting home and watching World Cup for 220 million people. All the countries in Africa, some my tweet yesterday, all the countries in Africa that are playing, put together, are actually about 130 million in population, about 130 million, and we're 220. So we almost double the population. We can't be out of it. We should be building the park. By the time you start this production I'm talking, you start managing the quality. It's time you have look, pushed local demand by trying to create the purpose of government is to care for the poor. Start pulling people out of poverty. As you're doing this, you start raising it up again. Government start getting more income and you start caring for so many things. You're dealing with an established criminalizing structures. It's not going to be easy. You know, it's not easy to remove structures that have been built over the years on wrong things. They're not going to go away easily. They're going to fight. And I believe that you can join me. Because the future, your future, the future of your children depends on what I'm doing.